Yesterday, after dinner, my mom and I went to the garden and contemplated the sky. It was incredible. There were lots of stars. Some of them looked really big, and others really small. I wonder if that was because some are closer and others further away. Well, not always. There can be two stars at the same distance, but maybe one is smaller than the other. So the biggest of them all is our sun, because it's huge. No, we see it the biggest because it's much closer to us than the rest of the stars. But in fact, the stars can be much bigger or smaller than the sun. Have you noticed that there is a thick band arcing across the sky with lots of stars and that around it there aren't almost any? I think you're talking about the galaxy belt. But although we can't see them, there are millions of stars there, in those spaces which seem empty to you. I think it'd be a good idea to remember what we've been taught at school about this. We've learned in previous lessons that our solar system is formed by a central star, that is the sun. Do you remember how many stars there are in the universe? There are a lot, so many that it's impossible to count them all. The stars we can see are all part of the galaxy where the solar system is. We call it the Milky Way. Galaxies are huge groups of stars, dust and gas. They've got different sizes and shapes. Some are elliptical, others irregular, and others spiral, like our Milky Way. Are the galaxies very far away from each other? In the universe, distances are measured in light years. We need a special measure because distance is huge. If we could fly in a rocket, do you know how long it'd take to get to the nearest galaxy? 179,000 years! In a very clear night, another galaxy can be seen. As it's very big, that galaxy is called Andromeda, and we can see it as a small lighter area in the sky. Did you know the solar system is near the limits of our galaxy? I know now why that beautiful night the blue belt could be seen across the sky. Actually, as the solar system is on the limit, what we see is the arm of the galaxy. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!